what's going on guys in this video we're going to create a new project with strapi and we're going to connect that application with mongodb atlas we're going to create a new cluster and a new mongodb database using this cloud-based service for mongo and we're going to connect our strapi headless cms project with this database remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started okay this is the login page for mongodb atlas so i'm going to click on next and now i'm going to log in and here in order to create a new mongodb database we need to build a new cluster. So I'm going to click here on build a cluster and I'm going to select the free option. And here we are going to keep the default settings. We're going to keep AWS as the provider and North Virginia as the region. Okay, and here I'm going to leave these default settings in this shared sandbox and the version for Mongo will be 4.2. I'm going to keep cluster zero as the name and I'm going to click on create cluster. And now the Atlas service is going to generate the cluster for us. And after that, we will be able to create new databases and collections within the database. And a couple of things that we need to set up here. We need to create a new user here in the database access section. We need to create a new user and we need to assign credentials to that user. And here we can assign different permissions. I'm going to create a user that will be able to read and write to any of my databases. And we need to also set up the network access. We can allow access from any IP address or if we click here on add IP address. And if I want to develop in my local environment, I can add my current IP address or I can enter any, any IP here. Okay, our MongoDB server is ready. So now let's go to terminal and let's initialize our Strapi project. So first we need to create the new Strapi application. We need to enter npx, create Strapi app, and the name of the app, we are going to call it the Strapi Atlas. Now we're going to select a custom installation type and we're going to select Mongo and we're going to set up the MongoDB Atlas database for the project. So here I'm going to select custom, and now I'm going to select Mongo. I'm going to keep the same database name and I'm going to select the host from MongoDB Atlas. So let's go back. And here I need to click on connect. And here I need to click on connect your application. And I'm going to select the host from here. I'm going to copy this and let's go back. And I'm going to paste the host here. Here I have to set this as true. So this is true. And the port is the default port for Mongo, 27017. And now I'm going to set up the credentials. That's the username and this is the password. I'm going to keep this as it is. And I'm going to enable SSL connection. This is required to access the MongoDB Atlas service. And that's pretty much it for the connection with MongoDB Atlas. So now, the installer is going to create the initial scaffolding for the project and it's going to install all the required dependencies. Okay, now let's open Visual Studio Code and let's take a look at the initial scaffolding of the Strapi project. This is Strapi Atlas. And from here, if we go to config database, we want to find all the settings for the MongoDB Atlas database. And the Strapi connector for the MongoDB database is Mongoose, a pretty standard library for Node.js applications. Okay, now let's open the terminal and let's build the admin UI. So this is npm run build. Okay, the admin UI is ready. So now let's start the Strapi CMS in development mode and let's create a new content type. So this is npm run develop. Okay, our Strapi administration panel is up and running. So now I'm going to create a new user here really quickly. And I'm going to click here on let's start. Okay, now let's create our first content type here. And I'm going to call this type team. I'm going to continue. And I'm going to add a new text field. This will be the name of the team. So this is name. I'm going to add another field. That is going to be a text as well. And this will be country. And I'm going to add another field. 
that will be a text and this will be the website for the team and I'm going to click on finish and now I'm going to click on save okay and now let's create a new team so I'm going to click on add new team and the name of the team will be Barcelona the country will be Spain and the website will be www.barcelona.com I'm going to click on save and now let's go to MongoDB address and let's see this collection here so we'll go to collections here we have the database that we set up with all the collections that are used by Strapi to function basically and here we have the teams collection this is the content type that we just created in Strapi and here we have the document with the team that we just added there that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.